Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about writing your Marine Corps recruit. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. So baby boy is taking a nap right now, but if you, he might wake up, so I might have to go get him. But I'm going to try to go ahead and get this video done while he's asleep. Excuse the lighting. It is rainy and overcast here today, so this is not the best lighting, so I'm so sorry. But anyway, my little brother, as most of you know if you follow my channel, signed up for the Marine Corps. He graduated June 2019, and then shortly after graduation, he left for boot camp at Paris Island, South Carolina. And we are all so incredibly proud of him. He graduated two weeks ago from boot camp. So I just wanted to um, make a video about the importance of writing your recruit and what you should write and kind of what to expect when writing your recruit. So your recruit could be anyone you know that has joined the military, your son, daughter, um, brother, sister, relative, friend, um, <clears throat> anyone that you know that has signed up for boot camp and has left for boot camp now once they get to boot camp they will be given an address to give to whoever wants to write them once you find out that address you can start writing them right away or you can go ahead and write your letters before you get the address and then as soon as you get the address you can send your letter out you can send it through the postal service or which is cheaper or you can send it through the app. I love this app and I'm so grateful for it. It makes it so much easier for a busy mom like me when I don't necessarily always have time to run out to the post office or, I mean, you can just drop it in the mailbox, I know, but if you don't have a stamp or whatever, this makes it super convenient and it's the app called Sandbox. I will link it down below if I can. Um, but you can get the app and they have letter packages. So if you know you're gonna be writing your recruit multiple letters which I definitely encourage um, you can get a letter package and you get like multiple letter credits and what they do is you can type up your letter on the app attach a photo and with the photos the photo is actually pretty big when they get it so you can make a collage and then add it to the photo if that makes sense um, so they can get like multiple pictures you don't want to send any crazy like fonts or any crazy like colored text or anything just the the letter and the picture and yeah it's about four dollars per letter if you send an individual letter with sandbox or you can get the letter packages and that makes it a little more affordable i know it's kind of expensive four dollars per letter but to have the app you can type it at any time send it at any time and from what my recruit said, or my Marine, he's a Marine now, what my Marine said was that he got the sandbox letters faster than I was in a um, Facebook support group for like Marine Corps recruit family support group. Um, and people were saying that sometimes their letters, like if they sent it through the postal service, they got mixed up or lost more often than through sandbox. Um, I don't know if that's true. I never had any issues with that. I only sent letters through Sandbox. Um, and then Sandbox will also give you weekly updates about what your recruit should be doing at boot camp that week and suggestions on what to write about. Um, all kinds of information that is helpful to a military family's journey. Um, you just learn things about the military that you maybe didn't already know. Um, just all kinds of interesting articles and suggestions on letter ideas and what to write and what to expect and all of that. So, highly recommend downloading that app and using that to send your letters. And, yeah, um, what I mostly wrote about, I only sent about one letter per week because I knew my recruit was getting letters from his mom, his other sister, his grandparents, and friends. So, he was getting multiple letters each week. If you know your recruit is not going to get a lot of letters, I highly encourage you writing every day. My brother's mom, he's my half-brother, um, we have different biological moms, but his mom did write him um, frequently, a couple times a week. I wrote him once a week, my sister wrote him once a week, so we knew he was getting at least one or more letters a week. 
But if you know your recruit's not going to have a lot of people writing, I encourage you to write every day just so they'll have some, because that's their only way of communicating with the outside world while they're at boot camp is through letters. So send encouragement. What I mainly did was I sent, like, we're a Christian family, so I sent Bible verses. I sent encouragement. I said, I'm so proud of you. Um, I let him know what I was doing that day or that week and what was going on in our life. I tried not to write things that might stress him out or cause him to worry, but, um, you know, just kind of wrote about what I was doing that week, um, just to kind of get his mind off of what was going on where he was, just to kind of give him a little escape. And I also, um, yeah, mainly sent encouraging scriptures because we are Christians and, um, Told him we couldn't wait to see him at graduation. Just different things like that. What my kids were up to, what we're up to that week. And I asked him different questions about what he was doing when Sandbox would send me a weekly update. I knew what he would be doing that week, so I asked him about that that week. And um, yeah, just things like that. I have a whole Pinterest board of um, different letter ideas and marine recruit encouragement so I will leave that linked below if you want to check that out if you need some ideas on what to write and what to send but it's so important because whenever we went to my brother's graduation he told me and my stepmom that there is no way that he could have made it through boot camp without our letters that if he hadn't got those letters he couldn't have made it um, and that tells you right there how important support and encouragement and positive um, feedback can help a person through um, to accomplish their goals. So I highly encourage you to write your recruit often and um, yeah I hope this video was helpful and if you have a recruit um, I'm so excited for your family. Yes baby. Um, I want you to give me some um, goldfish. Okay, just a minute. So, that's all I have for you guys. I will leave my sandbox referral link below. If you use my referral link, it just <laughs> gives me like a letter credit for each person who signs up through my link for me to continue writing my marine when he gets deployed or stationed somewhere. And you can share, Mom. once you sign up for it, Mom. you can share your link as well. Mom. Yes, babe. I was sitting back here the whole time. You were. No, you weren't. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. I love you, and Jesus loves you too. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye. I forgot to mention, sometimes your recruit will not have time to write you back, or they'll have very little time to write you. So, do not be surprised when you don't get a return letter for a long time or ever. Um, if your questions aren't answered in your letters or if um, or if the letters are just very short and to the point um, or silly or whatever, um, you have to remember they're in a different, whole different headspace, whole different environment, and a lot of times they do not have very long to write back.